Hi, uh, today I'm going to talk about increasing your value as an artist by learning to draw things you don't like to draw. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I work on The Simpsons uh, TV show as a storyboard artist. I've been doing it for 19 years. Uh, I've learned to draw stuff that I didn't like to draw. Uh, and I discovered that I like to do that. I like to draw those things. Uh, I, and, and really, and here's the thing. Usually artists don't like to draw things specifically, uh, the mechanical stuff, like something in perspective, uh, backgrounds, uh, buildings, uh, cars. Uh, generally, it's just mechanical machine stuff. Some, a lot of the times, um, Artists, we, we just don't like to do that because it's, we find it to be too mechanical. We find it to be too technical. Uh, it, it isn't loose and free. Uh, but that's what makes it easy, uh, actually, uh, because uh, they're mechanical. They're, a little, they're, I guess, a little bit more mindless. But once you find out how to do it, um, and you find the thing that makes it... Uh, exciting and gestural and and dynamic then uh, it suddenly starts becoming fun but you have to actually learn to do it uh, get good at it enough for you to really start enjoying it and that's part of the reason you don't enjoy it is because it's hard and you don't want to keep working at it but if you if you get past that point where um, it's not as difficult anymore when you finally start to get it uh, it starts becoming fun, and it starts becoming, uh, you, you want to experiment with it more, uh, and, it, and it becomes uh, more, much more entertaining and much more fun for you. I'm going to give you an example from my uh, life, uh, from, from, from my work life. Uh, I used to be a character uh, layout artist, and I didn't like drawing cars. Uh, and we have to draw cars a lot. Um, one time I had to do a scene uh, in, a, in one of the shows I forgot what name of the show what what show it was called I'm gonna put it down uh, I'm gonna put a link in the blog itself and there's gonna be pictures but um, <clears throat> it was a it was a it was a scene where Homer and uh, Snake the, uh, were gonna fight on top of his car which was like a it's a convertible it was a, a firebird I think and then they have to fight on top of this moving car as it's moving. So um, I had to draw the car, and I had to draw the fight scenes. Now I like drawing fight scenes. I thought I always find it really a lot of fun to be drawing fight scenes. You get to be really dynamic, and it's really exciting. I wanted this section of of the of the uh, of the show, these scenes. I wanted to do them. So, <laughs> but. It, it, they had cars and it was moving. So, um, lucky for me, the AD, uh, the assistant director, at the time, was re is really, really good at drawing cars so much so that it was his hob his it's his hobby. He liked to draw cars. So uh, I went over to him and I asked him, "Hey, uh, can you just give me some pointers? Just." What is it? What should I do to learn to draw cars? What makes it faster? How do you do it? And he sat down and for about 30 minutes to an hour or somewhere around there, uh, he gave me a lesson in drawing cars. And one of the things that I discovered when he was drawing the cars and he was talking about it was he would give the cars shocks so that the car, the wheels would stay, you know, and then the car would move a little bit. And just that little tip in drawing that um, it just ex it expanded my mind it was so perfect because suddenly I could give car gesture I could actually give the car a gesture it, 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 you know when, when, when you're drawing something you're, you usually draw the gesture and and the, the power and the punch and the physics and then you draw the, the figure around it well, you could do that with a car if you give it shocks and you make it move, and, and suddenly drawing cars became so much more fun. Um, 
uh, I didn't draw them perfect, but I wanted to start drawing them. And it, uh, in the, and in part, it was also because I like uh, Japanese cartoons, and I wanted to be able to draw like giant robots. Wow, they could draw machines so well. I want to be able to do that too. You know that sort of thing. So that was kind of driving me too. But, but overall, uh, it, this this is what what really helped was uh, th this was in my head. It, it made me realize, oh, the reason I don't like drawing cars is because I didn't know how to do it well. And I couldn't find the thing about it that I liked doing. But once I did, now it was fun. And I didn't mind it. And it was a fun challenge. And I had to draw them, you know, in an animation, you just don't draw the one. You have to draw like a bazillion different little cars in different positions as it moves in space. So <laughs> it, it, uh, it, I, I appreciated the lesson. And, and, and go out of your way and find somebody maybe that you can learn from. Or just go out and just just learn to do the things that you don't like to do and then you increase your value as an artist because you're able to do more than everybody else is willing to because nobody else wants to do it so you're in suddenly now you're more valuable because everybody else is gonna skimp on that stuff all right so I hope this is very helpful uh, please leave a comment uh, opt into my email uh, you won't regret it I, I put a lot of good information on my email but also, please leave a comment. Ask more questions. Uh, is this helping you in any way? Do you like what I'm doing here? Um, it really helps me uh, interact and find out if I'm if I'm uh, reaching out and telling you uh, what you want to hear uh, and what you want to know. All right, then uh, see you next week.